Welcome to my Socrata video tutorial. The purpose of this screencast is to highlight the educational value of Socrative and to give a quick demonstration of its use. Socrative offers a simple and easy way for students and teachers to receive instant feedback about academic progress. Students benefit as they find out right away if they're mastering the material. Teachers benefit as the results can be used as a form of evaluation as well as future instruction can be focused on areas of weakness. In essence, the concept behind Socrative is simple. Students are asked questions in varying formats which can be answered using either a smartphone, laptop, or tablet. Let's take a closer look as to how this exactly works. At the top of the home page, you can see that there is a student login and a teacher login. Let's start with that. On the teacher login, you will need to create an account first. At the bottom, click on create an account. You will need to enter in an email and a password. Click on create an account and you're ready to go. Once you've created an account, you'll be brought to this main page. At the top, I'd like to highlight a couple bits of information that are quite important. My room number is a number that the students will need to log in to your quiz. Students in the room is another important bit of information as teachers will need to monitor that to make sure that everyone is participating. Below that are the activities. To start with, we have single question activities. How these work is the teacher will ask a question orally and the students can respond either multiple choice, true and false, or short answer, whichever format the teacher chose. Below that are the quiz-based activities. I like to highlight this a little bit more closely. Let's click on Start Quiz. Here you can see that my room number and students in the room, that information is still available. For this to work, you'll need to have created a quiz beforehand. I'll select Short Story Terms uh, 1. After that, you can choose a student-paced or a teacher-paced quiz. Before we get to that though, I would like to highlight the advanced quiz options. Down here you can choose to randomize the answer choices or disable immediate right and wrong feedback. What that does is eliminate kids sharing answers. You can also hide the question explanations if you so choose. Let's click on student paste and see where we go from here. At this point what you need is students to log in to your account. So let's switch over to the student web page and see what the students will see. As you can see, they will need to put in the room number and then click Join Room. Once they've gained access, the first question asks for their name. Once the name is entered, click on Submit and the first question comes up. Who or what directly opposes the main character? Let's select Antagonist. Good job, we've got the right answer. Next question. Reader only knows one or two traits about the character. I'm going to click Dynamic Character. Wrong answer. The correct answer was Flat Character. And this process goes on and on until they have finished the quiz. Once the student has completed the quiz, they have two options. They can either finish the quiz or hand the device to another student to let them take the quiz. Once all the students are finished the quiz, the screen will look like this. What they're doing is they're waiting for the teacher to start the next activity. So let's flip back to the teacher account and see what they see. On the teacher page, you can take a look at the live results or you may choose to keep them confidential. Let's take a look. So I have two students who have completed this quiz. They've answered all 13 questions. It looks like James is struggling a little bit because he only got six correct answers, but Sally seems to be f doing fairly well. Once I'm finished looking at this, I can click on End Activity, and we're given a choice as to whether or not we like a report emailed to us or downloaded or no report at all. Let's click on this. Back to the main page. Below that, you can see that there are other activities that you can choose from, Exit Ticket, and Space Race. Let's click on Exit Ticket and see what that is. The purpose of Exit Ticket is to see how students are doing before they leave. If you take a look, if I click on Learn More, you'll see that 
Socrative offers a pre-designed exit ticket and the questions are as follows. Name, how well did you understand the material? What did you learn today? And please solve the problem on the board. You can make your own, but those would have to be made beforehand. Again, once all the um, results are in and activity, a report can be sent to you if you so chose. Below that, the last one, and the kids love this one, is the space race game. Select how many teams. Oh, actually, select what uh, type of quiz you'd like them to do. Again, select the teams. I would auto-assign the colors. Then that way the students don't know which color they are, and they will work feverishly to move the spaceship that they believe is theirs. Click on Next. And then the students get the questions. The spaceship will move across the more questions they answer correctly. Again, end activity, a report can be sent to you if you so choose. Last but not least, at the bottom is the manage quizzes section. This is quite an important section as it gives you a chance to edit, create, import quizzes. Let's take a look at create a quiz to start with. You were brought to this page. At the top, you will need to give your quiz a title. I've selected current events. The sharing option I really like and I really strongly encourage teachers to use this. That way if you have a good resource you can share with other teachers. I'll demonstrate that a little bit more carefully later. Select the type of question that you would like. Enter in the question and the answers. Once you've entered in the question make sure that you click one of the boxes on the left hand side as that indicates the correct answer. In this case Canada's current Prime Minister is Stephen Harper. You can continue to add questions as you so fit. At the end, click Save, and then you're ready to go. Now, I mentioned earlier that you can import quizzes from other teachers. This quiz that I just created has a SOC number. This number is needed in order to share the quiz. Let's see how we would go about doing that. Back on the main page, click on Import Quiz import shared quiz and then click in that SOC number import the quiz and voila you have another quiz that you can share with your students back on the main page there's a couple other things I'd like to show you on the manage quizzes section there's create a quiz import a quiz you can also edit your quizzes duplicate your quizzes or delete them also at the bottom there's a valuable resource here for teachers in that the reports that are generated can be viewed. Other than that, that is all the features that Socrative offers and I think that you'll find that it is simple and easy to use. I strongly recommend that you give it a try. Good luck!